Let's explore the wave shaper section using a tone that is close to a sine wave. The wave shaper is controlled by two parameters – spoil and spread. Spoil sets the point on the waveform where the signal will be folded, and spread sets the amplitude of the fold. Let's set spread to the middle point and see what happens. We can observe a small fold that has appeared. Using spoil, we can move this fold up and down the waveform. At extreme positions of spread, spoil acts like a path with control. At minimum position of spread, spoil does almost nothing. The preamplifier section consists of compressor and distorting amplifier. Compressor can be enabled by a switch. The distorting amplifier can operate in two modes. Either soft clipping or a hard one. The tone stack can be controlled by a tone knob and five switches on the side of the pedal. The first one enables the tone stack. The second one boosts the low frequencies. The third one changes the behavior of the tone knob to preserve more bass content while moving it clockwise. The fourth one changes the middle frequency of the filter. The fifth one cuts the high frequencies. In total feedback mode, various gating and generation effects can be achieved. All the switches and knob positions affect each other, and even one degree movement can change the sound drastically. Let's explore this with a simple drum loop. Mind you, we have not changed the pattern. The hi-hats disappeared due to gating effect.
You can now hear the oscillations. The bass pattern that you hear is generated by the pedal.